Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is a car DOS attack. Researchers at Trend Micro released a paper and some information about some new attacks on the CAN or controller area network that exists in cars. And they claim this is an unfixable attack because it's actually in the CAN protocol itself. Now, Trend Micro has released a lot of great materials around this, including a 30-minute video explaining the TAC in full, if you're really interested. But essentially, the CAN, or Controller Area Network, is kind of the network between the ECUs, or the electronic computer units that are within your car. Things that control braking, your drivetrain, uh, your uh, safety bags, airbags, and things like that. In any case, part of the CAN protocol standard is a a way to handle kind of errors in uh, communications, kind of frames that have been messed up. However, one of the things that the CAN network or devices on the CAN network does is if it receives enough errors, it will actually turn its bus off. It will turn itself off and stop receiving communications. Long story short, the Trend Micro researcher talked about how you could use this to stealthily send a DOS attack in a car where you could do things like disable safety equipment and other things that could endanger human life. Now again, because this is actually a protocol level issue with the CAN network, it's not something car manufacturers can easily fix. It would really take the industry updating this protocol with security in mind. That said, this really isn't something you have to worry about right away. There's no easy way for an attacker to gain access to this CAN network unless they have physical access to your car. Now, past hacks like the Jeep hack you might have remembered from before involved the car's onboard uh, like OnStar system or the entertainment system, and that was the remote vector hackers might use to get onto this network. But unless there's a known vulnerability in this 3G or LTE connected system, it's not trivial for an attacker to gain access to your CAN network. The only easy way is by actually physically plugging something into your car using the uh, onboard diagnostic port. In any case, it's interesting new research from Trend Micro. If you really are interested in the details and how you'd go about attacking a CAN network, be sure to check out their video. By the way, before I finish today's daily security bite, I want to point out I'm about to go on a vacation. So for the next couple of weeks, I won't be releasing videos, but I'll be returning in a few weeks after the U.S. Uh, Labor Day holiday, and we'll get back to our regular scheduling. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.